A self-propelled rocket-powered supercharger? Sounds like a great idea from the distant future, right? No, it's 60 years old. Boomer had some pretty cool stuff going on back in the day. So we did that article, we did that video a couple of weeks ago about the old magazines, and I asked if you guys wanted to see some stuff from there, and you're like, yeah. You know. So right away, the first thing that popped in my head was like Turbonique. Now, if you guys haven't heard, if you don't know what Turbonique was, this was a company started in 1962 by a guy named Gene Middlebrooks. And uh, Middlebrooks was a rocket engineer. He worked for a couple of the bigger companies. And uh, he was also a hot rodder. So what he did was he combined his two things into one crazy little entity called Turbonique, right? And he supplied various turbine-powered rocket turbine powered devices to be used in all sorts of competition. So he even at one point he had a, uh, a marine hovercraft, a rocket powered marine hovercraft. I've seen videos of this thing. But the Turbonique was basically uh, a little rocket powered by what they called Thermoline. And Thermoline was, was the name for, their name, Turbonique's name for N-propyl nitrate. So N-propyl nitrate is a monopropellant, meaning that it'll burn without the presence of oxygen, like nitromethane or hydrazine, but it's much more violent than the two. Uh, very fast burning fuel. So he made a series of devices, um, everything from little ones that powered go-karts to bigger ones that called drag axles. The go-karts I've seen it, you can find this on YouTube. There's a video of one of these Turbonique go-karts racing Tommy Ivo's dragster back in 1962 or 1963. And this thing buries the dragster. I mean, it gaps it like big time. There were a bunch of those go-karts running around. And then they had these things called drag axles. So this is from uh, Cars Magazine. Let me put my glasses on. Boomer blind. This is from... Um, August 66 of Cars Magazine. So this is this is a Chevelle running the drag axle. Hundred and fifty horsepower pushes thirty six hundred pound Chevelle to ETs in the low low nines. According to the, this is from the ad, right? Our drag axle bolts directly to the rear end and applies turbo power through the stock ring and pinion. Gives you nine hundred foot pounds of torque at stall, six hundred and twenty foot pounds at seventy two hundred RPM. You can run on drag drag axle power alone, piston power alone, or combined power. That's when you really sizzle. <laughs> yeah, right. So. They had a bunch of these cars running around. Um, one of them was, was a Volkswagen Bug that ran 186 miles an hour and a quarter mile with one of those drag axles. It flew at 186 miles an hour and killed the, you know, the driver, but you know, that didn't really matter. They kept going with this stuff. Uh, eventually, the NHRA banned the Turbonique stuff because of the, the flaming death that was going on here and there, um, which is expected. But the one device that they built back then that's practical in today's world that could actually be you know built by somebody now and marketed is this okay so I'll put the glasses back on so this right here is a self-driven blower Right? It used a solid fuel cartridge. All of the, uh, the, turbo ne the other Turbonic applications used a liquid fuel thermoline. And the supercharger, the this, this self-driven blower, used a solid propellant cartridge that was good for one run. So the way this thing worked was you'd screw the cartridge into the bottom of the blower. And it had a pin, like a hand grenade pin, and a lanyard that ran inside the car. So when you were ready to go with this thing, you know, it hit the gas, pull the pin, and bam, rocket supercharger.
no leg, no nothing. I saw an evaluation of this Barracuda. This was a, a, an otherwise completely stock 64 Barracuda with a 273 two barrel motor. And they bolted this contraption onto it and it ran deep into the tens. In fact, on this, uh, they give you a chart. They tested this on all different, all different combinations. So there's, uh, there's the stock horsepower rating of the motor. So here, there's a Valiant six cylinder, 170, made 101 100 horsepower, 101 horsepower stock. With the blower, 255 horsepower, and that's on the street setting. On the strip setting, it made 378 horsepower. You go all the way down here, just go uh, the 426 wedge. This, this wasn't the Hemi now, this is the 426 wedge. 365 horsepower stock, 698 in street trim, 1,030 in strip trim. Gone, right? We need something like this today. What, if people are working on electric superchargers, turbochargers, it seems like a great idea, the whole self-contained thing. I would be all over that if somebody was to actually come up with a functional one. But why mess with electronics when you've got rocketry? The uh, thermoline or the N-propyl nitrate is that something you could actually make at home if you, if you do a little Google search and you're not afraid of the feds knocking on your door. Um, you can actually make this stuff. So it's not all that far-fetched for somebody to concoct a, uh, a rocket-powered supercharger. And I think it'd be relatively cheap. It doesn't seem like there'd be too much involved in it. The, the whole turbo neat thing came to an end in 1968. Middlebrooks was convicted of mail fraud. Now, it wasn't that he wasn't sending parts out. See, and this is where the conspiracy stuff starts to get involved. It wasn't that he wasn't sending the parts out. It was that his claims uh, or the, uh, the, the materials that he was sending took more time to fabricate and install than the advertisements indicated, right? So mail fraud, I don't know, it sounds to me more like somebody was trying to keep government secrets out of the hands of hot rodders, uh, you know, conspiracy stuff. He repealed this thing after he was convicted uh, on the grounds that he was insane when he came up with all of this stuff, but that didn't fly and he, he did some stretch in the, in the Fed pen. He died in like the 1980s. So, but it's a brilliant idea, right? Self-contained rocket-powered turbocharger, supercharger, what blower, self-contained rocket-powered blower. We need this today, right? Boomer had some pretty cool stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.